Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, back in Scotland and an unexpectedly busy Newton Station. I say unexpectedly because at the time we put this in, I didn't think about what the AI were going to use this for. No, this station became a link between Cambuslang and Kings Park, all the stations up to Kings Park. Now I say up until Kings Park because it's possibly better to head from Cambuslang to Glasgow Central currently to get to the Cathcart Circle. Depending of course which station on the Cathcart Circle they'll be going. If it's Mount Florida or perhaps Cathcart itself it still might be better to get on this. But anyway yes isn't that cool? I have been busy working on uh, the junction again as promised. Let's bring up the UI. There we go. It's a little, it's a little less curvy, isn't it? I prefer this quite a bit. I've added some signals and some speeds in. You'll see here we now head up to 90. Uh, it's technically just after the junction or this switch anyway. And then heading down there is 90. And then I've got uh, 80 heading this way. This is all 80. We don't have an 85 board or track selection, so I've gone for 80 all the way. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to take a little break from plonking down stations. And there's a siding missing, isn't there? At Polmody on the other side of the track here. And every time I go past here in a cab ride, I'm like, oh, I so bear that side. I know we've got a lot to do regardless of the siding. But it would be nice to get it in today. And maybe detail it a little bit. Uh, we're going to improvise a bit on what goes in this area. There's a lot of greenery we're not going to be able to fit in. Well, we might be able to fit a little bit in up this end. Yeah, at least a, a small field up here and some trees. But mainly this is going to be the AI area for industry and industry demand. Uh, we're not going to be able to deliver it by train here. Although that might be a thing we do to give the siding a bit of life. I do want to put some stabled EMUs in here if possible. And uh, a couple of 86s probably parked up in there. That's the plan for today. Anyway, let's go back up to this junction. Heading up here now is a lot smoother. And probably closer to how it is in real life. Now I've been working on the signals. And because we don't have directional signals. I've put these in. in oh how, here comes our 47. Yes I've put these shunt signals in. In some places. We've got them over here now. Instead of the uh, ground one over there. Thank you for the feedback on that. What do you reckon? Is that looking better? It's a little smoother, isn't it? Probably a little closer. And then we head off up that way. Yeah, we've got more signalling now, which I'm happy about. Many people using canvas line? Yeah, there's a few, isn't there? How many have got? Eight people. We could look where they're going. They're all going to Glasgow Central. Oh, yes. It wouldn't tell you where they're technically going i don't think like their end journey what happens if we click on them here what do we got we have two people heading to pollock shields west almost said shores one heading to maxwell park maybe to go and get an ice cream or something three heading off to shorelands two going to pollock shores east and two going to langside there we go what else do we have where are you going cross maloof and Cambuslang, three heading to Cambuslang there. No one going direct from Glasgow Central to uh, Newton. Well, not at the moment anyway. We do have a train pulling in there, as we can hear. This is going to get lovely and busy, isn't it? Still only Cambuslang. I'm intrigued to see if uh, anybody getting off train seven here actually head over to the West Coast Main Line and head to Newton. That would be a journey and a half, wherever they've come from. Train 7, what platform are you on? You're on... 4? 
That's the Newton service. They're all going to Canvas Lane. There we go. I'd also like to add in, at the end, we're going to add in a new service. And that is the, the Newton service that heads this way round. By uh, Pollock Shields West. Am I right there? Yes, it's heading via Pollock Shields West all the way round here. Uh, doing the opposite direction around the Cathcart Circle that our current one does. And then we're heading off that way, aren't we, to Nilston? But not today, not today. I'd like to get this in. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of run out of room up here. So I might improvise a little bit and have our siding extend a little further than it should up this way so we can fit in more trains. Otherwise, we're going to struggle a bit. Because this would only leave us this much room as a siding. Now, if you double the distance on everything here, which would include where the junctions sit as well, this siding would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, because this would all be twice the distance down there. This would all be twice the distance long. Everything would be shoved down, giving us way more room for sidings. So yeah, we're going to have to improvise quite a lot. We can take a quick look, though, on the map. There we go. There's the sidings. They're not the largest sidings in the world anyway. They seem to be uh, stabling some EMUs there at the moment. Or are they DMUs? I can't tell what they are. I want to say EMUs. There's a two-car unit up there. And what are they? What are they? Class what? Ooh. Answers on a postcard, guys. But yeah, this is what we've got to do. We're going to put this in. Here's the little field area that I wouldn't mind fitting in. It's probably going to be this bit up here. And we might add one of those big depots we have up here. So we can at least get trucks in. Grand. Get on with this siding. How are we going to do this? This is the, uh, the short siding that heads into... Back onto the West Coast Main Line. How are we going to improvise this? I guess coming off here would be handy. Although not very accurate. This is technically the start of the sidings, isn't it? I guess what we could do... And these wouldn't be very quick at all, would they? Probably 10 mile an hour, if that. We'll make sure that this is all 10 as well. And this would probably... Oh, don't do it on the main line though. Can you see that? We've got 10 mile an hour on the main line. What would this be? Well, we can find out. Is it 30? Well, probably 30. We can settle with 30 there. Uh, in fact, since we have put it in there, let's get the asset on so it uh, looks the part because I don't have a 30 slowdown, I don't think, on this side. No. And that's going to be there. There we go. And then in here is going to be 20. No, 10. 10 we decided on. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is have the sidings run... A little further up here. I'd like to keep them straight though. This is possibly way too far. Let's put that there. Our siding's not going to be the nicest. As far as what we can fit in here. But as long as we get the essence of what's happening. That should do, shouldn't it? And then we'll get this one up here. I would like to get the two separate. I mean there's a distinct separate siding going on. We're going to have to do some interesting shunting work, aren't we? For our version of the siding. We could have an extra one come off here. Which I wouldn't mind. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put an extra one coming off here. And that's actually going to run up the side, I think. And that one... That one's going to be what heads around there, where the train wash would be. Or should we have this middle, this middle one? We'll have that as the train wash, even though there isn't one. I just need to leave enough room for those fields that we've got up there. Then what we can do is from this point, we can have it do that shape from there. And we'll have our other siding just here. Do the same at this end. So we get that feel going as well. 
Yeah, do you know, I think I'll take that. Not how it is. It definitely has the essence, doesn't it? Of the siding. And then we need... Oh, yeah. I would like to get this little section in here. That's what happens just before the uh, train wash there. Perhaps we can have it like this. To improvise a little bit. Maybe. We could have it something like that instead. That sort of works, doesn't it? I would like these to be the same length. Maybe we can line it up there. It curves around a little bit at the end, but I don't mind that. Then this one can go all the way up like that. And then in there. Yes, that would be the through track. Um, we could even add a track like that as well. I mean, technically, there's enough things going on here for trains to turn around, isn't there? Now, this can be an actual siding. We'll make it look the part. So they'd have to come up this way, stop somewhere up here and turn around. Uh, they could go all the way up to here, I would imagine. On our layout, anyway, not in real life. I've left the uh, sound or the game running so we can hear everything that's going on out there. Okay, I'm happy with it. Not overly happy, obviously, but I think when you're doing the mainline run now, this is a little better. We can have possibly a fence down here as well. Uh, if we put in the the blocks down here, first of all, we need to get rid of the grass paint tools. Let's put that as ballast down here. I would like to put any weeds that we are going to put in here and uh, overgrown areas. I'd like to put those in myself rather than let the game do it. That does mean we can get all the grass off the west coast mainline here because that wouldn't be a thing would it no especially between there there we go none under the bridge i put extra signals in here i try to improvise as best i could i might even do it down here as well and then we can if we really want add some grass back down the middle there i don't think there would be any it would be closer to what's going on here that looks a little better anyway quite a bit tidier so up this end if we get hold of our assets here, we're going to add us the white section that uh, was on the map. We're going to get this and the flat one we have here and raise it up. I think it's like something like seven. Seven's not the correct, <laughs> not the correct height. Uh, that's way over the top. Would it be more like, oh, it might even be these here. Seven on this. No. Is it just two on this? Ah, there we go, just two. And then we could get the concrete. Uh, seven? Yes. I think that's the uh, darker one. Yeah, I like the seven. And then we can put this all along here. Uh, we can make it quite long as well, couldn't we? Uh, what does that do? That's perfect. Yeah, we'll have that something like that. We'll get the width to be two tracks so we can do it a little easier. And we'll adjust the distance from track center so that it sits perfect there. And that's it, isn't it? Can we just make this super long? Because I believe it is straight. What does 10 give us? There we go. Beautiful. One there. Uh, one there. And we'll have the other one like that. No. We'll make that a little shorter. I don't want it to touch this uh, switch here. Normal length. There we go. That would be perfect. Yep, that works as that bit of siding. And then we've got something similar happening over here, although I will put it over these uh, crossovers. Now, can we get this wide enough to go across all three tracks? Delete that. Get that in an overlapping, I guess, would work. And then, can we get one in here? Oh, come on, it would be lovely. I guess we could make it longer. Uh, we've currently got it a little bit short but we might be able to just make that longer well actually that might do this one is shorter than that one so that would keep that wouldn't it and then we've got this bit which would be fairly accurate and that bit then we've got the train wash i would like to find a building to put as the train wash 
I did have a look on the workshop because there was some train wash assets and some maintenance uh, ladders or platforms for trains which would have been perfect for up there. But I could not find them, unfortunately. Uh, yes. Yeah, does it leave us room to have that giant building there? Now, technically, the big building would be between <laughs> these residential buildings and this bridge. But we're obviously not fitting that in there. Uh, if we go to buildings and I don't know which one we'd put over here. DB Schenker, really. But yes, that's absolutely ginormous. Will it even fit down here? Maybe. If we move this road a little bit, we might be able to get away with it. It's almost there, isn't it? You kind of need it. Yeah, that might work. We could always have it down this end. It doesn't matter. It's all scenery. But then we don't get our greenery there. I would like it here, ideally. Because this road isn't set in stone. So if we delete this back and we get it sat down here somewhere, that won't do it. Down there. So we make ourselves a nice area. It would be track level. So if we got it to sit just here, we'll make a little bit of room. Then we can make our road go around the outside. Around the outside. There we go. Now get back to our depot -y thing. We could even have it at an angle, I guess. I think having it straight would be okay. And... And then put some detailing in because we're going to need to our roads. We do or can get away with it being very close to the track. I wouldn't mind leaving a little bit of room for some uh, detailing down the side there. So if we put it somewhere like that. There we go. Yes, I think that works for us down that side. Meaning we can bring this road slightly more aligned with this area down here. Might even be able to go the same height, head down a little bit. Oh no, that would be silly because we've got this area here. If we go wider and closer to this track, I would like to fit whatever's down here from this road on here. And we can smooth all that out, I hope. Yeah. Let's give us a bit more room here. We'll bring it back up once we've got it all smooth. There we go. Yeah, we've got that flashy. I did put it in on another area of the map and it didn't flash, so I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. There we go, that should be nice. I do like it from this side now. It feels a little more industrial already, just with this in here. Let's get in uh, the road down here. It's going to be one of these that we can connect up, I hope. Not like that, though. Do we have to do it something like this? Well, actually, if we bring that out a little further, we can also detail up. We can do it something like this and have some uh, hand-placed assets in between. So it's like an elongated street here. And then head cross something like that. And then back up to the main road. Yeah, I like that. There we go. That's beautiful. Yeah, that means we can have a, another building there and a, maybe a car parky area. There's a lot of concrete going on around this area as well as industry buildings i mean over this side is probably where we're going to have our industry plonked down bend that way there we go get you like that that's a bit lower as well look at that lovely and then if need be we'll head up there so we've got a little bit of a, a grade up yes that almost works for me. That way we can... There is a road down here. So we could maybe make that work. Uh, what I'd prefer the rest of this road to be is something like this along the side instead. Probably right up to the edge of the, the depot here. And we'll get uh, that deleted. I wonder... Oh, that's not pretty. Yeah, let's connect this first. Oh dear. Let's get that connected up like this. And then we'll head round. Oh, curvy from here. We'll head round like that. 
I don't mind tight turns and stuff down here. It's supposed to be a little industrial area. Does that work? That kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, how are we going to make this work? I guess what we can have is some buildings down here. We can possibly hand place those. Yeah. We head this round to follow. We can't yet. We need this a little bit longer. Then we head round. Oh, no. Oh, it's just here. I've got you. I've got you. So what we could do then, maybe head up. I don't like it. No, we're going to stay flat. We're going to have this as two separate layers. This is this is nothing like what it is. But this should work, shouldn't it? If we start going round like that, we should be able to head up and possibly join in. I would say on the, the back road. It should be a gentle curve. Not gentle enough. What we can do is have uh, more roads heading off this way. Something like that. We get that heading off straight. As long as it doesn't make a mess of that bit going up there. Which it doesn't. We can have something. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not what I want. We can have something like this. Heading up to there. And then a bit out here that we can lock and then all over there. Yes, got it, guys. This is going to be AI up here. We're just going to have this running like that and leave it like that. There is a road that heads down here, like an access road. I wouldn't mind being able to put that in. Uh, it wouldn't be anything like that. I don't really want the AI to use this bit of road. I would just like it in there as scenery and possibly a way to block. The problem we'll have is they'll use it. It would head off somewhere like that. There we go. That should be enough for scenery. Yeah, the AI might use this to build on. But that wouldn't be a bad thing because providing they don't get in their cars over there, it would be a an okay thing we could try adding a fence here which would be there and that could solve the issue with them building on here we'd need to tidy this area up a little bit there we go make it not look as terrible and more gradual official episode i just realized look at that beautiful this i would like to stay like this uh, up this bit here definitely all the way up to up to where it starts to go up and join. And that we can re-smooth. Yeah, so we've got like a all the buildings down here. And I don't know how we're going to achieve anything up here though. I would like a little bit more of a, a border here. We could of course do it this way round. And have them build up there. And have this as a wall. I mean, because it doesn't look too terrible does it I want the AI to build down here I think like that and then have that as a wall same for here some of it down and then some of it up we could always place our own there as well but it doesn't leave much room does it the way we've got it we could always curve this road a little further that way as well oh yeah we've got an issue if I have it like that uh, which I forgot about. But I like this here. I don't know if we've got the angle to come down there. Can we get down there? Well, I mean, we sort of can. It's a bit steep, but I'm sort of willing to take that. Yeah, more of an angle there. Yeah, go on. Get that in. Otherwise, we won't be able to make any of that sit nicely together, will we? Having different layers like we've got here is going uh, to make it look more like Glasgow anyway. One thing we could do is see what the AI does with this. If they build along here, it might not look fantastic, though. Yeah, this looks like it's screaming out to be some sort of tall building. 
So we go from the bottom here, but they kind of double as scenery on their side as well. Uh, which could be commerce or just empty. Yes, I'm tempted to go empty. The reason for that is we're only just in Glasgow at the moment. And if we start adding more and more stuff down here, uh, AI or buildings that have residents in, by the time we've... Look at this, how much of this map we've got to go. By the time we've added Edinburgh in as well, dear, oh dear, we're going to have like 7,000 million people on the map. And that's just going to kill performance. So we have to think about that. As long as we're leaving enough room down here for the AI to build... Now, we're going to lock the roads, but I do want to add like an industrially type area in and perhaps even get it in today. So we're going to give them some building room and we're not going to make it all straight as I make it all straight. We're going to do some curvies like that. Yes. Uh, can we get a road? No. What we might be able to do, though, is get a road that heads on this side. And then heads down something like that instead. And we'll have to see what they build here. But all sorts of official, isn't it, today? Lovely. This wasn't the plan today, the AI area. I feel like it's uh, it's a thing that we need to do together. And we will save it, though, and make sure everything works quite nicely. And we've got a strange little dip here, which I'm not sure about. It looks like it's heading down and then up again. That was a bit bizarre, wasn't it? Can you just be that instead? Um, but straight. There we go. What was that little dip for? I don't remember putting that in. That makes more sense. There we go. That means we could even have kind of a little back street down here, couldn't we? For them to build on. And that should sit okay. I don't mind this curvy. Perhaps we can tidy it up a little bit. Uh, if we go from this point now and we do a little bit of M and N just to balance it out a bit. If we shift M and N, there we go, we get that down like that. That's a little better. Yes, tidier. Gives them a few little places to build on. What we need to make sure we're doing now is locking all these roads so they don't build any more or try to connect them all. Because if they try and connect them all, it's going to be a nightmare. I think I've got them all, guys. Have I missed any? Yes, you have. Not even close, Grand. There we go. Now I think we've got them. Yes, we can have a light there. We don't need lights down here. Traffic lights, that is. Let's tidy up this area. Smooth it out a little bit. We may be able to get away with a, a road heading this way. We're definitely at the point now where we can't just copy the road network. We can sort of get it working. If we try and replicate the entire road structure around this area, we're going to be in a bit of, bit of trouble. That can go like that. I would like this to hook up somehow to this over here. This road we've got. And so that's going to be going that way and straight. And then this is the one that's going to connect down a little bit there. Go straight there. Is that about right? It's about perfect, isn't it? Straight there. And then I want you to join just there. Because if the AI decide to spread, I would like them to spread over this way. And you can have a, a section going there. And we can have one heading down this way I don't really want to crossroads there so I'm going to leave that and hopefully oh as you put it in anyway brilliant listen to yourself grand yeah I would like to keep it as two separate rows of buildings I, I really don't know what they're going to do are we ready to attempt this oh dear this is going to go so wrong here's our town no residential, no commercial, 100 industry. Maybe, maybe we can start off with 60, 50. Oh dear, 10 million. I hope you don't build in strange places. 
I'm a little bit worried about this. We'll do it anyway. Go. Okay. All right. That, that, uh, Stoke on Trent was that. I might re click this, load it in, and have it down the dot, more down here, or the location down here. Possibly here. Because it went a little bit further that way than I would have liked. Right, let me try that. All right, Palmody, attempt two. Let's keep it at 100 this time. And we'll do it closer to this area, which is where I would like it. Go. Wow. Uh, that's a lot more buildings. I like it, though, because we can uh, stop them from building up here, can't we? Uh, yes, I would rather you wasn't up here. Ideally. And up there. We'll put our own buildings in where I'd like to block them. I'm happier with this, though. I love this bit. I love this bit, especially since we can put some, uh, some fence down here. They've decided not to build on here, which is great. Uh, yes. Now, this is always going to be a mess. I don't know which way round is better. I think them building on this street is better than them building on that street. So perhaps they'll do it the other way around. We can always put a fence around here and see if they'll not build that way. Just here and instead build down there. I don't know because they might terraform strangely. Should we hit play? Uh, as they build another building straight there. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We can always adjust the roads if it doesn't look great. Like we could have this come straight down, for instance. Uh, we'll see. It's it does it look okay or well, not? Not from in there. It doesn't. Oh, oh! I'd love these as separate assets. Right. We'll get to see what it does with this. There'll be some EMU assets. I hope we've got some. Okay, let's have a quick look. Uh, track side. None there. What about here? We do have some. I don't know whether we have what we need. Class 50, class 47. We've got coaches. We've got Scott Rail coaches we could possibly put in there. There goes our train. We are class 150s. 152, 156. I don't think our electric trains are there. No, we've got HSTs that we could put in there. We've got some... What are these? Class 44, 45. Doesn't look like we've got any EMUs, unfortunately. I do not want to put them in here as vehicles. Because my... As a programming... Oh, look at all the cars now. Because this is the only industry on the map. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, well, that's going to change, isn't it, eventually? But yes, I don't want to put these in as actual vehicles because I'm not sure how the programming side of things work. If they're an actual vehicle, they may sit in the pathfinding check, even though they're stationary. So each loop it goes through all the trains running around here. It might check these each time. As an asset, they're in the a separate thing, aren't they? We've even got the little taxi cab. Look at that. Oh, it's brilliant. Yep. We've got taxis going around. That's got way busier, hasn't it? Goodness me. Hey, guys, there we go. I know it's all going to be around here, but that gives you some idea of what's going to happen as we add more commerce in, more industry. It certainly brought the uh, roads to life, hasn't it? Now, is this touching most of this? Yes, yes it is. I don't think it's touching that side, no. But it is touching here. Brilliant. Right, that's given us a lot more destinations. We'll see what they do with their buildings. They're not bad, are they? Little uh, corrugated iron buildings there are all right. Big fence down here would work wonders, I think. I mean, what fence do we have down there? Just as a... A quick example. We can have this down here. As long as we put it the right way around, it should be wonderful. Let's go something like that. And it needs to be on the right-hand side, like that. So you can't get in rather than can't get out. 
What are you doing building there, you Burke? What are you doing? Don't build there. No. Silly. We'll sort him out, otherwise he's in real trouble. We'll go like that and bring it up to the track here. That kind of works for me. Oh no, I've got the stepping on after all that. We don't want... No, we want that. We don't want that. Well, I'll do that again. Actually, it's only up until this point, isn't it? It gets a bit unruly. Yes, finish that line. What we'll do is we'll delete to that point and we'll just redo it from, from here. There we go. That should do the trick. Oh, not with those, though. What was we using? Those. Yeah, you go from there. That's better. Tidier. I don't mind them being wobbly. I just don't want them stepping. There we go. And you go... Well, it wouldn't be that close anyway. You go there. And we'll flip sides, I think, and have it down something like this. Because we want to keep people off the track this way around. So, left from that point there. And we'll just put that in something like that to finish. Just a little bit of extra scenery. There we go. Yes, there goes our train. We'll get on him up at uh, up at Newton. I like this, apart from this guy. Yeah, is there any way we can stop you from doing that? Let's quickly pause it. A more different fence. We'll add something like this in at the end here. Uh, from that point. Oh, no. What have you not done? Line. From this point here, we'll just add something like that. And then we'll go off this way. And then curve round like that and just finish it. I guess we could finish it with a, a little bit here. And finish that. And then we'll see. We'll see if they build over that uh, over that fence. They might. They might. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. We can put some buildings in there. I'm more in interested in seeing how the AI handle this area. And then I know roughly what I've got to do to stop them from doing things we don't like, such as this. But anyway, where's our train? Are you at Newton yet? Because we're going to be heading on this on the way back. Uh, before we change this to possibly an 86 uh, for next episode or in the next episode. And I'll be turning all the other ones back into the 3 two, ones. Right. New line. This Newton one. We need to change this. Uh, Glasgow Central to Newton via. So this one will be via Pollock Shields East heading out of Glasgow. Which one's our new line? That one, yes, this one here. So this will be Glasgow Central to Newton via Pollock Shields East. Go. Right. This one here, the East. Let's add Glasgow Central. And we're going this way round this time via Pollock Shields East. All the way up like this to Newton. Currently you'll be very unhappy then we're heading back again and we're going this way back yes no is that right do we go this way back round yes we would wouldn't we yeah we're going this way back round oh no not cathcart don't stop at cathcart everything will go wrong if you stop at cathcart there we go shorelands maxwell park west yes that should be spot on right where are you heading in at the moment i think you should be on the same platform or or here possibly yeah let's put you on p6 which is five there we go uh, we'll change you to anything really that'll do oh well let's just see what you're doing first what are you up to up here we're probably going to have to set your uh your waypoints correctly. You're sort of doing it right. Except for that bit. Uh, what do you not need to do. Up here. You've got to get into here. You can go via this signal. Yes. You can go via that signal. There. 
after, that will be the last station, west. I think you can go via there. Yeah, don't change my platforms though, if that's okay with you. You can get into five, can't you? From there? What's up with you? Why can't you get into five? If you go in there, cross all the way across. This is five, isn't it? Oh no, that's five. It's six you want to be in, you absolute burk. I say that. It's not your own fault, Grand, sort of. It is technically P5. I just forgot it should be six. There we go. Now, on the way out, you can indeed scoop back over all the way like that. Or we could send you along here for something different and have you cross over there maybe i don't like it we could send you this way oh that's what you're doing yeah no do that that's fine yeah there we go we've got you and we'll color you back we'll have you as a, a darker yeah more like a brown there we go right that's that fixed now what we need to do is find the other train that's running the circle only that has two trains on it which is cw there we go yes this is the one you're heading is that the right one yes we can change his path because he's heading out there now that is absolutely perfect so we'll get you on and there we go guys we've spread our trains out he's doing something a little different over here should be our train and that's what we'll end on today all right, guys, we're on board our Class 47 that's now heading back into Glasgow Central via Canberra Slang. It's definitely not the Glasgow to Edinburgh consist that would run this. Once we've got the rest of the West Coast Main Line in that we're interested in, this will be uh, doing the sprint past through Canberra Slang and past Newton. So we'll see some nice uh, speedy trains heading through at times. And we'll work out a way to use the layover at Newton as well. Once we get the timetables in. However, there is the patch coming very, very soon. And I don't want to do any of the timetable stuff. I just hit my knuckles on the desk. I don't want to do any of the timetable stuff until that's settled in. Because things could be terribly wrong. I might still do something with uh, Canvas Lang here and have the, the bridge in. It's a bit laggy, and I'll tell you why. We just added all those destinations in um, at Polmody. But this is all about having a look as we drive past uh, what we just added, the sidings. And it should look a little, a little busier and better and, and starting to become more complete. Still lots of detailing to do, still lots of stations to put in, but um, it's looking good. It's looking good, and we should start to see more and more cars on the road as things settle down. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.